All right, we are back with Mr. Jeffrey's Algebra 2. Uh, we are up to 77 subscribers. Now, I'm going to put this out here. If we can get to 1,000, I will record myself getting a mohawk and post it. Okay, so we are, we're at 77. We only need like 923 more. Okay, so get out there, hit subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell. So, yeah, I'm a math teacher. I was able to do that fast. So, I won't dye it blue. I dye it, well, maybe blue. I might do it like two different shades of blue for, you know, jet's colors. All right. So, we're today we're going to be writing polynomial equations from coordinates. Now, the person that came up with this, sh oh, that's, sh we're not spelling that right now. We're spelling finite differences. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, sh oh, I don't think we're going to get to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> All right. So finite differences, finite means a set, small set, and differences means subtraction. So basically we're subtracting. Now it's kind of funny, the great state of Alabama has decided that we need to know how to do this using technology. And I think that's kind of funny because apparently they haven't been in math classes because students are using technology all the time to do math, mainly photo math and other things like that. So. Uh, the way we're going to approach this is we're going to go a little bit backwards, okay? We're going to go from right to left this time, okay? And there's a reason why. And what we have to do, we have to keep subtracting until all the numbers are the same because that's what the property of finite differences means. All right. So first we would say 84 minus 56. We get 28. Okay. We're going to say 56 minus 35. Okay. Bless you. It's 15, 10, 6, and 3. All right. None of these match. They shouldn't, because if they did, it's a linear. Okay. All right, so we're going to do it again. Seven, six, five, four, three. All right, none of those match. So we've got to do it one more time. 7 minus 6 is 1, 6 minus 5 is also 1, 5 minus 4, you heard it before, 3 minus 4, nah, nah. all right, so we finally get to they all match. How many times did we have to subtract these numbers to get that? Yeah, this is 1, 2, 3. This is a third degree. Okay, now, this part right here, this is the only part that's going to be on the test just the degree and this is why before you can actually know how to use the online calculators you actually have to specify the degree okay so i try to make the main thing the main thing all right now i know y'all are going to be sitting at home this weekend you've just got some random coordinates and you're just dying to know what that equation is for that polynomial i know and then you can do this and then go search online, okay? Because I know that's exactly what y'all like to do on the weekend, right? Exactly. Okay, some of y'all are like, mm-mm. All right. So, did I lie when I say that we're just adding and subtracting? No, I didn't, believe it or not. I actually tell the truth more than what people know. For those that don't know, I'm pointing myself on the TV. 
I never knew I'd be on TV so much or the YouTube. All right. That was the first example. Let's look at another one. So, we subtract. Negative 29 minus 6. Negative 35. 6 minus 21. Negative fifteen. Yeah, we're yeah we're going from uh, right to left. Yeah, there's actually a lot of uh, different languages that go from right to left. That's why I think that y equals mx plus b. You know how we start by plotting the b and then we do the slope. That it's read that way. That's that's just a thought of mine. All right, twenty one minus twenty two. Negative one, seven, nine. All right, none of these match. What? Which which one? Oh, what is what is twenty two minus fifteen? Okay, so that's why it's 22 minus 15. That was the question in class. All right. All right. Now, negative 35 minus negative 15. Negative 20. <laughs> yep. Negative 15 minus negative 1. Negative 14. Yeah, we. I don't have any of these. It's like to the 18th degree. I think four is the tops. Maybe three. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Uh, negative one minus seven is negative eight. And seven minus nine is negative two. All right. Well, it depends on how you write. So you only have enough room for like for four of my 120 plus students. Sorry. I'm trying to conserve the environment. Yeah, that's right. All right, right here, negative 20 minus negative 14. All right, so we get to our third difference. So what's our degree? Three. I know some of y'all are like, I don't like those numbers. No. All right. We go by how many times that we subtracted to get uh, the um, thing. So if we follow the bouncing ball, we subtracted once in red, twice in green, thrice in blue. So we keep subtracting until we get all the same numbers. Okay, just like on this one, we kept subtracting, this is all one, but we subtracted one, two, three times. Yeah, how many times that you had to subtract to get all the numbers the same? Mm-hmm. I know some of y'all are like, wait a minute, there has to be a catch. There's not a catch, really. I mean, this is it. The only catch is, my luck, I'll try to have y'all go online to this website, and it will be blocked for y'all, but not for me. And y'all are just sitting there watching me type in stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it, that happened in my math modeling class. Uh. Well, we dress up like math stuff and we model. We actually, we're going to write today's lesson in math modeling is actually something you are going to do later this semester. It's a lot of probability and statistics stuff. All right. So 56 minus 11, 
45. Big sneeze coming. And we're back. Thank you. That one, that one, that, that made something move inside. Okay. Oh, that one hurt. All right. This is, so 11 minus 17, negative 6, 4, 8. All right. Nope, not negative 45. It's 45. Okay. 6, 2, negative 4. Did I, wait, did I do something wrong? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. What? That's more better. I I just because I teach math. I hope we don't catch you outside either. <laughs> All right. We've went three times. No like numbers yet. No. They all have a solution. One. Woo! We did it. Yep, so this is one, two, three, four, five. So this has a degree of five. There's only two of them on the test, and I'll try to do better with spacing. Hey, I could be bad and not even give y'all a handout with the numbers on them and make you write them down. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to get on my bicycle and say, I'm going to get you and your little dog too. Now. 87 minus 98. Negative 11. 98 minus... 69. Yeah. Let's see if I can use this. Hang on. This is what's funny. Even the even the software doesn't even know what I wrote right there. Come on. Hey. Yeah. Doing the text recognition. What little pad? Uh, I, I got rid of it. And.
and then negative eight. Oh, wow. It took it that long to think that I wrote 15. All right. So first time around, these are our numbers. I will try to write better because waiting on that thing to go is driving me crazy. I am so glad that this microphone can't pick up everybody's conversation. No, that would mean we had to go to New York and I heard it smells like urine. If I wanted to go to a place that smelled like urine, I'd stop at a gas station and use the bathroom. Okay, that's All right, so this is a one, two, three, four, five. This is also a fifth. Okay. Pew. All right. Due to time constraints right now, I want we're going to leave these, and I want y'all to go to the back of your handout. Okay. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is I've already got this pulled up. Phew. All right. In Schoology, this should have already posted. Oh, it's it has by now. In Schoology, this actually shows, uh, gives you the equation calculator, which is this right here. All right. So we're actually going to type in <clears throat> these numbers oh nope yeah it was the it was the best one I could find all right so this is one let's just do the let's just do the X's first one two three Seven. All right, so there's the X's, here's the Y's, one, four, twenty, thirty-five, thirty-six, eighty-four. 35, 86, 84. Now, this will tell us, okay, we have to increase the degree because it's already set for two. So we increase the degree because that's what, we found this the first one on the example all right now all we have to do this thing is in the way and it won't move all right so we're going to hit calculate now it will actually tell us our equation this is actually the equation for those numbers Okay, yeah, all we had to do is type in our X's and our Y's, tell it what degree it was, hit calculate. Not only did it do that, it actually graphed it for us. Huh? No, this is the actual equation right here. So control C, 
and I know on the back of y'all's handout, it has these same problems. Just thinking about it. Just thinking about it. Okay, so here is our equation for what we did. Okay, now the going to the side on line is not going to be on the test. Doing the subtraction is. Okay, y'all got it? All right. So this is what I want y'all to do. I want you to find the equations using that website in Schoology for the other three. So example two and numbers one and two here. Okay. Now, if you're leaving us, hopefully you've already hit subscribe because we have 77. We need 923 more for me to get a mohawk and dye it two shades of blue. Okay. So don't forget. Hit subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell. Good stuff. Good things. Roll tight.